Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is April Camilla from California, United States. What do you do in your country? I am an accountant. Mm. Why did you decide to come to choose a brother view for volunteering? Um, when we searched the website, it looked interesting, and then once we look at um, their locations, um, Peru was actually one of um, the countries we want to visit, and we saw that uh, a brother view had a program in Peru, so um, we thought it was a good program. So my friend and I, my friend Jimmy and I, decided to sign up. Mm -hmm. volunteer. And why did you choose Cusco? Um, uh, I guess it's because it's popular for Machu Picchu and also uh, one of the popular cities in Peru, so we, that's why we chose Cusco. Mm -hmm. um, how has your program been so far? Um, it's interesting. Um, we're learning a lot about the culture in Peru. Also the people, um, it's it's a good experience and it's very different than in the United States. But at the same time, it's um, a lot of learning. How has uh, what was the best thing so far? Uh, the best thing so far probably is um, going around and seeing the city. And um, also the experience here in the kindergarten. Like um, I don't have a lot of um, interaction with kids in my life in the United States. And then being here, it's really fun to interact with the kids and kind of like learn about them. Even though I I only know a little Spanish, <laughs> but then they're kids, and it's easy to like kind of talk to them and interact with them and help them with their homework and teach them kind of some. Like how to say colors in English, it's, it's a good experience. It's different, but sometimes good and interesting. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and tell me, uh, what can you tell us about your host family and accommodation? Um, the accommodation is really good. Um, host family, they're really, really nice people. Um, they're very um, caring. Um, there was one day that I I wasn't feeling good and they really took care of me and they made me feel like I could go to them um, if I need anything. So that was really nice of them. Uh, also, um, they were very um, hospitable. They asked us to use anything in their house um, and treat it as if it was our own. So I think <laughs> it, was, it was really, um, they were really nice and I, I, I really love talking to um, Maria, Grandma, and Stephanie, and they're really nice people. Uh -huh. um, how about your Spanish immersion lessons? Uh, Spanish immersion le lesson is actually pretty good. Um, after the first couple of days, it's a lot easier now to kind of pick up words when we're interacting, like when we go to the city. Uh, it's a lot easier to recognize some words, and our teacher, Anna Maria, is really um, good too, and she teaches us a lot of like uh, the basics just mm -hmm. to um, have normal conversation. And at the same time, she also recommends a lot of um, like um, native and Cusco products like chocolate. So, it, like aside from Spanish lessons, she also shares like what's special in Cusco and in Peru. So I thought that was really nice of her to kind of like recommend a lot of like restaurants or what to try in Cusco. Good. Um, what could you tell you about the ABBA staff in the United States? Um, they were um, pretty supportive when we had questions about the program before we even come here. They were um, able to answer it right away and they're very responsive and um, also, um, they were able to provide us with the materials, like the reading materials ahead of time, just to inform us what to expect in this um, in, um, experience, so it was pretty good. So they have answered all your requests? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how about your experience with the coordinator of ABV in Cusco? Um, Beatrice was really nice. Um, when we first came here, she took us around the city and also um, 
the, uh, the thing that we appreciate about her is that she spends her weekend with us, which we didn't really expect. And when she took us to like uh, outside the city, um, which we, like if it was just me and my friend who came here, we wouldn't know how to get there. So it was really nice of her to take us around. And also, she provided us with a lot of information, which, um, you know, that's very good. It's additional, she didn't have to, but she probably, like, she told us history of, like, the sexy women, and she took us to, like, all the Inca movements and told us some history about it, so that was really good of um, her. So, she's really nice and very helpful, and also, um, she was able to provide us with tips on, like, so, like what to do, where to go, like, easiest way to get to some place, so it was really nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, what would you tell to, uh, would you give any advice for future volunteers coming with us? Um, future volunteers, um, I think advice would be um, have an open mind. Um, um, whatever expectation you have before you're coming here, um, expect more and expect less. So like, just have an open mind. Also, um, I wrote some stuff. Yesterday, so let me just. Uh, also, um, oh, and if they have free time, I think it, it, it was the, like my favorite. Um, I had really fun when we went to Sex and Women, so I think <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good um, thing to do when when you're on your on your own to to visit that place. Okay, good. Yeah. Would you recommend ABB to other volunteers? Yeah. I would I would definitely recommend um, this is a, a really good experience to do um, if um, if you're ever interested in like learning about culture of other countries so I think this um, a broader view is a good um, program to join and kind of um, learn and volunteer. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay. April. <laughs> Thank you.